Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is hot water less dense than cold water. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is two balloons, a tank, and some water. To set up this experiment, I have a red balloon which I filled with hot tap water, um, representing hot, and a blue balloon filled with cold tap water, and the tank is uh, filled with hot tap water. And the question is, if I put these balloons in, will they sink or float? and we see that the hot red balloon is floating and then when we put the cold balloon in we see the cold balloon sinks well why does this happen well the explanation is the balloon filled with the hot water will float and the balloon with the cold water will sink this happens because the cold water is denser than the hot water. As the water is heated, its molecules move faster. This causes the molecules to spread apart from one another, causing the density of the water to be decrease. As the water cools, the molecules will move slower. This causes the molecules to move closer together, causing the density of the water to increase. This time I filled the tank with cold tap water, but it still have hot water in the red balloon, and we'll see if it sinks or floats. And it looks like it's going to float. We'll slide that over to the side there. So the hot water balloon still floats, and we take the cold water uh, balloon, representing blue, and see if it's going to sink or float. Well, the difference this time is, no matter if I push it down or not, like this, it wants to float with being in the cold water that it's just going to float where before in the hot water it wanted to sink. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe and thanks for watching.